Cigarette butts, they are becoming a big problem at the Chemung County Transportation Center. Good evening, everyone. I'm Zach Wheeler. And I'm Brooke Taylor. Thanks so much for joining us on AT News at 6. Many tonight fed up with the amount of litter at the bus station downtown, and they want to know how and when it'll be cleaned up. That's right. Our AT News reporter Jordan Brown did a little digging to see just how bad it was. She joins us now live in the studio with our top story. Good evening, Jordan. Good evening, Zach and Brooke. That is right. I had to go investigate to see what everyone was talking about, and what I saw was pretty shocking. Butts, butts, and more butts. Cigarette butts, that is. They're scattered all over this Elmira bus station, and people are not happy about it. It looks pretty trashy, you know. It'd be better if people took them, had probably bigger uh, ashtrays to put them in, stuff like that. I saw plenty of ashtrays around the building, which was why the amount of cigarette butts on the ground was even more confusing. No, it's not even hard to pick those up and put it right in it, this little hole. <laughs> it's not that hard. <laughs> According to the City of Elmira Code Ordinance, no person shall throw or deposit litter in or upon any street, sidewalk, or other public place within the city. And if you do, the penalty could be up to a $100 fine, 25 days of imprisonment, or both. Now this is a city owned building, but clearly someone hasn't been doing their job. Whose job is it to clean up these cigarette butts and why haven't they been doing it? And whose job is it to enforce the code? Smokers and non-smokers alike want to see something being done about this issue. This is ridiculous. They have like cigarette butt things. It's like people are just lazy not to put it right in there. They just want to eat, <laughs> toss it on the ground. It's just thing is, what if a kid picks it up and it's like, it's not the greatest. <laughs> Hopefully in the near future, the scene at this bus station is a lot more clean and free of any kind of litter. I did reach out to the mayor of Elmira and Elmira code officers for comment and have not heard back yet, but this definitely will not be the end of this story. We will continue to keep you updated as we receive developments. Reporting in the studio, Jordan Brown, 18 News.